Welcome to the eighth lecture of Introduction to Modern Brain Computer Interface Design. This lecture is going to be a little bit more mathematical than the others. Um, what we're discussing here is um, the framework of uh, optimization theory and specifically how that is applied to designing brain-computer interfaces to optimizing parameters and so on, and um, in a sense, building customized um, BCI models. So that is split up into seven uh, modules, some of which are a little bit shorter. And we're starting with a general introduction into the topic of optimization just um, from a to build the intuition. That is not going to be very formal. It's because this is not an, a lecture in optimization 101 or something like that. It is just a minimal necessary understanding that is necessary to, to comprehend how to build brain computer interface designs on top of that. Then we're moving on to um, the common spatial patterns problem that we had before, and we are going to change it up a little bit to be able to move beyond that and generalize it a bit, so to make it amenable to optimization, basically. After we're done with that, we, we need to take a look at a certain class of, of machine learning methods, leveraging optimization, that are going to be applicable to that, which are large-scale methods, uh, using you know, which are able to operate on large numbers of parameters and so on. And we'll cover that to some extent. We then take that and um, apply it pretty much as is to a uh, sort of a predictive model um, the, that we um, built in, in module number two. So we're just applying that and inspecting that a little bit. We then um, apply the same stuff um, to event-related potentials because um, as I am already indicating, this is a rather flexible framework. And in the second to last module number six, we're looking at um, learning together um, features in event-related potentials um, that are informative about our uh, target variable, as well as features in oscillatory processes during the same time period, and potentially multiple kinds of oscillatory processes, and integrating sort of um, everything into a single approach. The last one is going to be some uh, practical remarks on how to solve this at the end of the day and so on. 